All right, fam, it is uh, Tuesday, April 2nd, and we're gonna head to Coney Island. We're gonna hit up uh, Nems, underground rapper slash entrepreneur slash comedian Nems. We're gonna hit up his shop, cop a new hoodie, because we gotta get a fresh hoodie while we're here. And then we're gonna go find ourselves a Coney Island hot dog. I got it. Listen, we ran 5K this morning, so we could eat the hot dog today. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go to Coney Island, fam. You coming with? All right. Yo, we just met. <laughs> We just met Nems for real at the FYL store in Coney Island, man. The dude is a straight up fucking gentleman all the way. <laughs> that was one of the most surreal moments of my life. I hope I wasn't all fangirly and shit about it, but uh, yo, <laughs> fuck your life. Bing bong, dickhead, okay? I'm very happy right now. Very happy, yo. All right. Yo, say what up to Pure Nectar. What's up, Pure Nectar? Yo, say hello to the people. This will be on my YouTube. We're just here in Coney Island doing the thing. We got the big man, the legend, Gorilla right here. He's here. He's grinding. My man's on grind mode since I got here. Slinging. We love it. We love it. Get in here. FYL, shop in Coney, okay? It's on Mermaid. Uh, support independent artists. That's what we're doing up in here. That's what this is all about. Yeah. <laughs> Did you catch that one, eh? I can't, I can't, I can't hide the Canadian, bro. I, I came to America when I was eight years old, and right. uh, this is predominantly Russian and, uh, you know, income housing, you know, and the neighborhood hasn't changed at all. I no mean, gentrification not, here yet. Not yet. I mean, you see in the summertime, of course, all the tourists come and all that, but in yeah. the off season, even on a day like today, it's, it's just all locals, and uh, you I won't see that. that in Bushwick or Greenpoint or in Dumbo, those parts of Brooklyn. And this is kind of the south of the south. This is as south as you can go. Man, the fucking Ferris wheels right over there. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I know, I saw that. I can't like, really shit. go any more south out here. Guys, by the way, Pure Nectar, look them up. I'm going to tag them in all this. Thank you, thank Good you. Good people Appreciate out here. It. Good people out here. All right, let's go get the glizzy. All right, it is a fucking terrible day out here, raining like shit. But here we are, Nathan's. We got the Nathan's famous Frank Furters, guys. We here. Let's go. Let's go see what it's all about, shall we? We got the Brooklyn Ale, guys. You know what it is. Let's see what's in the goodie bag here. Oh yeah. Open the fucking box. There she is. A little sauerkraut. Nathan's hot dog. Oh, we got the. Uh, these I were told you have to get. We got the corn dog bites. Look at those puppies. A little brownie, because you know that's how we do. And then, guys, you know we got them cheesy fries. I mean, let's see what's up with it. All right, let's find out, shall we? Let's go. Bing bong, baby. That's fire. I'm just gonna, I gotta leave you. I got, I got some work to do here. Oh wait, yo, I gotta try this too. Corn dog bite. That's the best corn dog I've ever had by far, by far. You know, sometimes it's the simple things in life. Guys, glizzy goblin mode. Glizzy goblin mode. I gotta go goblin mode here. We'll catch you in a bit. We're okay, we made it back uh, from our little trip uh, to Coney Island. We back in Bushwick. Big shout out to Pure Nectar. Okay, Pure Nectar products. Uh, any of my people in NYC area, definitely look these guys up on Instagram. Go, go hit them up, because they, they got the real deal stuff. All the flavors, okay? So we got ourselves a little Power Bunch bar here. We're gonna check it out. Let's see what happens. All right. Yo, it actually tastes bomb, too. I got beautiful chocolate. Hit up Pure Nectar. All love to my man out there. Shout out Nems, right here. The legend, Coney Island mayor. And uh, yeah. Fuck your life, bing bong. I'm taking my boy John to the most Jersey, small town, quintessential Taylor Ham, pork roll, whatever you want to call it, experience. Let's go. Kearney, New Jersey, the Greeks. Been the here Greeks, for baby. decades and decades. Okay. And in my opinion, it's top five in the whole state of New Jersey when it comes to Taylor Ham and cheese. <laughs> you want to add an egg on there? It's your broccoli. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's always. Taylor ham, cheese, and egg, salt, pepper, ketchup on a Jersey Kaiser roll. Pumped for this. I haven't eaten all day. I'm ready for this. It's been raining for two days straight. I'm cold. I got, yeah, yeah, we're going to go enjoy this. 
Although I don't want to bug too many people. Guys, you want a half order or a full order? Full, uh, full order, please. What's what's the name of this place, Johnny? The Greeks. The Carnage. Greeks. The Greeks, guys. Uh, yo, you know what? I, I I have to look at my ugly self every day on camera, and it is a it is a struggle. How long you guys been open for? It's been a restaurant since the 30s. It's been in my family since 1968. And we're in Kearney, New Jersey right Kearney, now? Kearney, New Jersey. Absolutely. Okay, okay. The last time I was in town, I got drunk at the VFW in North Arlington. So that there was... There you go. Yeah, it was nice. a good time. Oh, nice. <laughs> it was actually a good time. And we usually are the after <laughs> of that. Yo, you get I'm, drunk the night before, I could tell. We come and try to put you together the next day with our food. So what's this thing I'm about to try that I've literally never heard of until I had a I, hundred people from New Jersey tell me I had to try it? Taylor ham is somewhere between bologna and spam. Okay. <laughs> and there's no other way to explain it than it's sliced thin. We grill it. We use a flat top. Beautiful. This is just the way that we make it here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hook it up with some egg and cheese, and you got yourself a real good, salty, gummy breakfast sandwich. Hey, it's like some sauce. You know, sometimes simpler the better. It sounds like, you know, you don't got to get too complicated with it. No, no, it does the job. It helps soak up all that alcohol. <laughs> it's just flat out tasty, for oh. lack of a better term. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'll hit you with one more because I see you're a busy man. Uh, absolutely. What's, uh, if you were going to say, what's the biggest thing over the years, let's say the last 20 years that's changed in customers, what, what, what would that be? Or are customers staying pretty much the same? I think people utilize going out more as entertainment than they used to. It used to just be... Right. Sustenance. You wanted to just eat. There's a picture of the sandwich if you want to oh, see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. At. Sandwich, thank you, sir. Or well, now fun. people are more willing to travel to destination restaurants or destination items that they wouldn't really do some years back. So gotcha. I think that's what's kind of been going on in the game. Have people started coming out again post, uh, you know, post all Absolutely. that? Absolutely. That's excellent. Everybody was uh, cabin <laughs> fevered up. No so shit. it was, uh, <laughs> it's been a big difference and it's a good thing. You know, little, little places has kind of made their way back and it's a good thing. Man, I love having my spot. You got to have your spot. You got to have your drinking Sorry, hole and you got to have your breakfast spot. Exactly. That's it. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Let me ask you, do you know what we, do you know what you, we call that up in Canada? You what you just poutine. made? Poutine. Yeah, my man's on it. Poutine. My but, you know, on it. that's not really what it is. <laughs> no, no, no. This is he actually knows. made with yummy artificial stuff. That's not right. That cheese curd He stuff. knows. Okay, he's got the squeaky cheese down. John, thanks uh, Thanks for thanks for it, talking John. to me, man. And Big John. A couple of moments. And, and it's, it's, it's and Greeks. It's the Greeks. It's the Greeks in Carney, New Jersey. That's where we are. Okay, thank Couple you. A couple moments, sir. those bad boys will be melted up and ready to go. Let's for you. go. Thanks, man. He knows. Yeah. He knows. It's torture to me. All right, get that in you, Johnny. What do you got? This is the American poutine, I guess. I mean, what do you call it? Your that? version of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. Just, All right. Some people call them disco fries. Some oh, fries that's what she's. Disco fries is what she said. Yeah. What did I say? Dirty fries or something like that? Yeah. I said dirty. I'm an idiot. Okay. Dog, one minute. Bomb. All right, what's up? So this is the first bite, official. Johnny's, uh, check out the sixth studio here. I do love this. This is all you need, really. It's just a trailer and yeah, like a, two. Uh, Without getting fucking grease everywhere, we'll take this first bite, fam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, it's almost like pepperoni. Sadly, yeah, like a... Uh, it's like bologna slash spam. Like, I didn't think I'd ever like anything with spam in it. It's changed my whole perspective on shit. This is a close second to DMT, Johnny. So, guys, I was supposed to eat. I, I was going to save a bite of the tailored ham. We're all set up for the podcast here. Back in the fucking, back in the old bang bus room. Out in Jersey. God, there's a lot of horror stories that start that way, eh, Johnny? Yeah, there is. Yeah, so anyways, guys, we uh, we got the podcast going. I ate the whole sandwich. The sandwich is gone. That's a top, top three best breakfast sandwiches ever had in my life. Easy. And uh, it was just, it's just spam and egg, dog. What, is there more to it than that, John? Is that offensive to say? Oh, um, holy shit. It's, it's it tastes like pepperoni or something, bro. It's a, it's a fucking Jersey thing. 
It truly is. That's it. All right, deal with it. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Thank you very much. Yo, there he is. This, this is like... Is that what you used to cut rats with? Bro, come on. Look at this. You're like Alfred handing Batman the bat, man. That, was, that ended up in a scrapyard pile. Guys, it? so this is going to help us on our quest... This is like this is like King Arthur's sword you just gave me, bro. This is this is actually perfect. It was pulled out of the Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my, my boy just came through with the best, the best bat ever. Frankly, what do we got here, Ganimal? Rutsut Ripper. Rutsut. Yep. Cook to New Jersey. Look at those bad boys, eh? Come on now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. This is what's up. Look at this. I like that, it's grainy. That's how you know. Want some of this? Yeah. Glizzy goblin mode. Put your put your glizzies up. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. That's very different than Coney Island hot dog. Oh yeah. That's got the crunchy, it's like fresh off the barbecue. No, this is deep fried. This. Oh, is it actually deep fried? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's what's up. <laughs> All right. You gotta get that relish though, right? Hey, John. How did curling come to be? Well, the reason curling is a very big thing in my country. We take it very seriously because we found it was a great way to trick women into sweeping the floor, like into getting really good at sweeping. Hard. Hard. So who's this? $50 bill, American? That's Ulysses Grant. He's actually the man who wrote the book Ulysses. And I think... <laughs> That's facts. Facts? Confirmed. Without a doubt. Lock it in. What up, fam? We are here. Lake Placid. My voice is gone. I'm going to have to take a day off. I mean it. After today, I'm taking a day off. Probably not. As you can see, like, look at over there. Look at these mountains. It's like everything here. Look at that sky. Uh. Anyways, guys, it's election. It's, I almost said election day. <laughs> it's eclipse day. I feel so good right now. We're here in Lake Placid. I never been here. I've never had air this fucking clean before. And I gotta say, I gotta tell you, last night, the stars in the sky, I have never seen anything like that. They were not even, they weren't twinkling. They were fucking dancing, bro. I don't know if that's normal. The stars dance on a regular basis. Like, it looked like they were moving. Anyways, I love y'all. What a week it's been, and this is a great way to kind of put a, a stamp on our New York trip. Oh, 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 and I just saw the most beautiful red fox I've ever seen, oh, just over there. And he stared at me, he gave me a look, and I think his look said, I'm at peace with you, brother. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here in the Miracle on Ice rink. And I didn't realize how much this was going to be, like, cool to me, but it is pretty cool. This is the board, obviously, right? They got, I think they got just the game on repeat here, <laughs> which is pretty funny, but pretty cool. And then, obviously, you got, uh, you got the quote, which is a pretty badass little thing. But yeah, let's go look at the ice surface. Look at that. Some of you guys might not know this. I played hockey. Um, I played hockey, shit, 15 years of my life up in Canada. So do you think I'll get in trouble if I try and open this door? Ah, okay, damn. Anyways, guys, there it is right there. Look at that. Guys, we just got to do it for our own good. Yo, look at these dressing rooms, bro. Fucking old, yo, these are tiny. That's a tiny dressing room for fucking a full hockey team nowadays, man. Yo, there it is. Like, look at that. So there's Olympic, Olympic gold medal winners stared at themselves in this very mirror, fam, that we're looking in. Shout out, Philomena's. All right, one last fan video, guys. But this is pretty cool. 
Look at that. Well, guys, it's uh, been clear skies all day, but you can see that they've started spraying. Um, pretty obvious what they're doing. I, I, I do honestly, you know, I do wonder. So right now it's about 1.30. I've had people from Kentucky, Kentucky, Ohio, everyone's saying that they're spraying. I do wonder if they are trying to protect us. I know that sounds weird for me to say, but maybe there's, you know. But uh, here's the ski, here's the ski hills. Lake Placid. Those are the ski jump hills. So anyways, um, but yeah, they are starting to spray in the sky now. And you can see the clouds forming. Guys, do you see this shit? So I just, so we can look, you can literally look right at it right now. That's crazy. This, by the way, it's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. right now. Did you hear the news? Oh Love God. you, brother. Oh, hey, what's up? Do you guys want to see what the traffic looks like? We've been driving for six hours and we've made it maybe, maybe a hundred miles. Not even. 70, bro. We've made it 70 miles in six hours, son. What you know? Get at me, Wolf. No, it's worse. It's like 60. 60, bro. Doing pretty, pretty there was good. Two, there was 290 something. So you guys, you guys are up in here. You guys have known each other how long? So, oh, since he was born. So I'm friends with yeah. his father, his uncle, <laughs> and his grandfather. That's right. When so, his grandfather came from Italy, he knows my father. They came right. together. No shit. This is, forget about it. Bro, 70 years ago, so we're, we're in the borough, so it's different. New yeah. York City than New York. When people say New York, New York City, it's right. a totally different thing. Like, yes. New York is like the suburbs. Right. It's like Long Island. It's like upstate New York. When you say New York City, it's the five boroughs, Brooklyn, Bronx, right. Queens, Manhattan. You know, it, it's it's a totally different because in New York City, we have neighborhoods. That's right. Which New York doesn't have neighborhoods. Everybody <laughs> lives a mile away from each other, two miles. It, it's, it's just different, different attitude. Right. People talk different, sound different. Like if I tell you, hey, we're gonna go play under the Johnny Pump tonight. You, do you know what that is? The no, Johnny Pump? No. no, sir. So, that's a fire hydrant. <laughs> it's a fire hydrant that right. we play with the water. Okay, we call okay. It the Johnny Pump. That's like, the Johnny Pump. There's that's certain right. words, certain things that like we relate to that we understand that when somebody hears it from out of the city, they're like, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah, yeah. You know, so, well, the Johnny we talk pump. with our hands all the time. That's what my old tell. lady calls me every once in a while, the Johnny pump. Oh, you know yeah. What I'm yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. So <laughs> everyone, everyone that's walked by has said, hey, what's up to you guys? I just love the vibe here, yeah. but uh, yeah. we're going to so make a little. because we're neighborhood people, so everybody yeah. knows everybody. How long is it? So uh... now, before, I'm sorry to yeah, cut yeah, you No, off, no, no, but, please. But now, like, you. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> so, uh, like you now, people walk here that are from the neighborhood, they see you, they're like, who's this guy? Is he a cop? Is he yeah, a yeah, IRS? Yeah. Or, right. Is he yeah, an angel? Yeah. With, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you're an right outside. Yeah, like, yeah. All, all, all the neighborhood. neighborhood people know everybody. They know everybody's car. Sure. All these cars Beautiful. walk on the road. If they see a strange car, they're like, Who's that car? Right. Who's in there? Honestly, yeah. that's beautiful to hear. Because I think that's the biggest thing wrong is the lack of community across the, the board. Community, so. We Let's stick go. together. We help each other. Let's we go. support each other. One day you go to this restaurant. One day you go to the other restaurant. Beautiful. One day we go to your restaurant. That's one right. day you come to ours. Okay. Like, you know, so we all help. We stick together. It's, it's, right. it's a totally different ball game. New York City and New York. When people say I'm from New York. Yeah, New York. You could be eight hours fucking away. That's next right. to Canada. <laughs> New York City is a different right. ball game. Well, you know, I drove down from Canada, and it's like you drive through upstate New York. It's a fucking, it's like deliverance oh, yeah, up there, yeah. bro. It's, it's not. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Is, yeah, it's beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. I don't think yeah. people realize yeah. how country that is up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. it's I very rural. Yeah. It's Big very time, man. Yeah. And it's not, like too, not even too far. So it's getting rural, hour and a half away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's really, really, it's very like tight niche here. You know. It is. Come on, let's go inside. We got to make some sandwich. sandwich. Let's yes, go. let's oh, do let's this thing, my friend. We got the fresh, we got the fresh cutlet, we got the fresh mozzarella. How long does it take, like, to make mozzarella? Like, it's mozzarella. Mozzarella. Use your hand. It's mozzarella. It's from the shoulder. You go like this, and then it comes out nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, how long does it take to get a, a ball of that going? It's, it's not about the ball. It's about the, the curd. You got to cut it. You got to season it. You got to okay. boil the okay. water. Then you mix it. Then you play right. with it a little bit. Then you turn it into a bowl. That's a, that's a juicy. Nice. Hey, take care, gents. That's a juicy piece of cheese right there, my man. Delicious. Don't say cheese. Mozzarella. <laughs> Mozzarella.
Come on. Okay, let's see it again. Come on, look at this. Fresh chicken cutlets and mozzarella. Fresh every day, G and our deli. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm learning, I'm learning how to say these things. I'm gonna fuck it up again though, for real, but mozzarella. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get mozzarella. <laughs> what do you think about that, Jackie boy? Okay, that's fresh. That's fresh. That's just getting started too. That's the foundation, eh? That's right. All right, we'll see what. This is how you gotta make egg plant over there. The you could put prosciutto in it too. Eat it with the prosciutto. Oh my God, man. We are gonna, I'm gonna walk out of here fucking 20 pounds heavier, aren't I? <laughs> How's that taste, Jackie boy? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's as good as it gets. That's, That's straight from Nona's kitchen. That's bomb. Oh, yeah. wow. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Am I getting better? Are we getting a little better at that, boys? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Canada. Wow. Come on. This this is like potato chips. Come here. Grab this. Taste oh, that. Shit. Mm, taste that. Bro. Come on. Huh? Come on. These come straight from Italy. Tell me, you never. I used to love sun dried oh tomatoes. Oh my god. The ceremonial. Yes, we balsamic. The balsamic drizzle. Prosciutto from Italy. Fresh mozzarella, arugula, and sun dried peppers. Did I say sun dried subtle over here? We got the ceremonial balsamic dressing about to be poured. Johnny. We got prosciutto from Italy. That's right. Fresh mozzarella that we make here every day. Fresh. Arugula, baby arugula, so it's less bitter, and sun-dried peppers from Italy. You can't get these in the States. No. And now we're gonna hit it with the finishing touch, balsamic glaze. There you go. Come on. Come how on. you doing? Look at that. And that's how it's done at GNR Deli, fresh wow. every day. How you doing? Much Delicious. love. Much. Texas, 7.30 in the morning. No shit. My brother sent me the video, goes, goes post and tag him. Guys, you got yeah, I was like, Jumani, I came up with from Texas, this. so see you. Look at that. And, Let's go. I'll make the video up. Coming soon to a Bronx neighborhood new, near you guys, the Alley Pizza Lounge. Look at that sign. So someone was telling me, someone was telling me that there's actually like a price on signs in this city. Like you have to pay big money to get a sign up or some shit. Um... It depends what type of business you're opening. So okay. you have to go okay. through certain people, get a little permission. But it depends on your people, people you know. That's right. Welcome. Welcome to Let's go. Oh, come on. Bro, this is fucking awesome. All right. Hell yeah. Look at this yeah. brick. Oh. Look at that freaking brick. Yeah. The brick The brick was my whole vision for the reason why I named it the alley. I love this. Okay, man. so I envisioned when I walk in, the first thing I notice, it's kind of like walking down a New York City alleyway with yes, brick sir. up both sides. You know, and that's where my vision started from. So what was the what was the toughest thing about starting the like what what was the biggest like hurdle you had to go over to start the business and get it going? You know, well, first of all, I did all the construction myself. You know, my uh, man, I my man, all along the way, and I had a lot of help and a lot of guidance for sure. But the construction was a big part of it, but not the hardest part. The hardest part, realistically, permits. Yeah, knowing what the board of health wants. Yeah. Uh, you know, making sure things are clean and and making sure you're you're doing things properly and you're not going to have leaks in the ceiling and lights right. going out at the wrong times. You know, and then also trying to envision where I want things and how is it going to flow where you know waiters aren't going to end up bumping into each other okay. and and you know crisscrossing. I need my bartender going to have their section. I need this guy there, that guy there. So you're going to have this. This will be fully functioning bar so here with booze. Bar. Let's I go. Have the, the kegerator up there. Beautiful. I built those shelves. Those are like floating shelves. We're going to have a TV up top. Uh, we're going to have a full bar. We have a full liquor license. Awesome. You know? Uh, should be great. And then my dad comes from old school Italian cafes from the neighborhood. So we got a coffee machine, an espresso machine. Let's go take a look at that. my dad makes the most phenomenal cappuccinos. The most... Yeah. They call him... Look at this. Look at the size of this bar. Back in the day in the coffee shops, they would call my dad the cream kid. <laughs> because when he makes espresso... There's cream enough that you could lay a quarter on top of it and it won't sink. I kid you not. I gotta fuck with, I gotta story. try one of these That's cappuccinos. So what do you think? Like what do you think the what do you expect from the clientele? And what's like changed? I, I'd be curious to know, like over the last say 10 years, what's changed about the Bronx and the uh, neighborhood? The neighborhood's been gentrifying, changing. Things are so different than the world I grew up in. Yeah. You know, it's got a lot to do with the internet, what you guys do, For social sure. media and things of that nature. For sure. so, you know, that does change a lot. It's really, really gentrified. When I was a kid, 
every other one was Peter or Paul or, or you know, <laughs> Sal, or, you know, yeah, it was all, yeah, yeah. all old school Italians, you know. Yes, sir. And uh, I love that personally. I think it's great for the neighborhood. I think it's great for business here, you know. So I think it's going to do a lot. I think this place is going to be kind of a hub for that. And that's why I went away from the Italian restaurant style. Right. And I went more for like a contemporary, modern, fun family style place, you know. I love um, the vibe, man. Yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah. It's like you don't have a lot of places where you can like go get some like nice pizza, quick, right, right, quick, right. delicious comfort food, Absolutely. but have a pint. Yeah, that's Absolutely. the that's the thing most pizza Absolutely. places are I'm missing. Put, and I and I'm kind of I kind of had that idea because I'm gonna put a bar here, you know, like a like yeah. a little, little table against the wall. Beautiful. And you can come in as as one person, grab a beer and have pizza. We're gonna do. We're not gonna really do slices. We're gonna do personal pizzas, like ten inch gourmet style hey, personal pizzas. Make it your own thing. That's right, beautiful. Right. We got this is where all the magic's gonna happen right here. We got the uh, we still got the manuals in here, guys. So you know it's a fresh pizza oven. What makes a good pizza oven? What makes a good pizza yeah. oven? I'll tell you right now. Look inside there. All right. Gas pizza ovens don't have brick. Oh this is surrounded by brick. Oh right. So it's a gas pizza oven, but it cooks like a brick oven. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so wait, was there some sort of fucking didn't the didn't the mayor put some tax on pizza ovens or yes, something? So yes. what, what was uh, that? That doesn't look? affect me here, thank God. Nice. But that's for wood burning and, and coal burning ovens. What was which, this? Which yeah. actually this kind of does. Yeah, yeah. Without that that tax. Beautiful. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. So what so if anyone's trying to dodge the tax, what kind of oven should they buy? Marcel MB60. There it is. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, you can't have this one. You can't have this one. So my man. Thank you for the tour, guys. We're gonna be opening in about a month. About a month, six time. weeks, something like June, that. June, June. Get June, here for June, June guys. June. Okay. What's the name again of the spot? It's the Alley Pizza Lounge. Okay. Alley. At the Alley Pizza Lounge on Instagram. Alley Pizza Lounge. Get on it. Uh, what's the address? Where, where's it? Thirty-two oh nine Westchester Avenue, Bronx, New York, Pelham Bay. We out here in the Bronx. Okay. Yep. Um, we also have the best pizza in the world. Okay. Okay. So okay. that's something to know. Um, what would the Sicilians say about that statement? <laughs> yeah, but no, we do have, we really do have the best pizza in the world. Like, I'll tell you why. The water that we use. Okay. The, the Bronx is water. So, okay. the water in the Bronx, and this comes from experience. I have yeah, family yeah. members in the Department of Environmental Protection. Okay. We have some of the best water in the world. I, I mean, like, obviously, there's spring water and stuff like that. But in terms of drinking water, faucet tap water, we have great water here. It's super clean. The Bronx? So, yeah. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. have to say anything, but it's like, okay, um, why? But, uh, Really don't know. Okay. But I, I, our dough really comes out very crispy, but not dense. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. airy, you know. Yeah. And when you pull apart a slice of pizza, especially from here, because I got a little, little bit of a secret. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You'll see air bubbles. You hold it up. First of all, it doesn't flop. There's no Ever. flop. No flop, no Dave. Flop. Okay. okay. And it's crispy. It's got that perfect chewiness to it. It just comes out really, really nice. They're making me fucking hungry. Yeah. They're making yeah. me hungry. And we just ate. So. I know, bro. I just <laughs> ate so much fucking food. GR <laughs> Deli. Get yeah, at it. Deli. How Absolutely. you doing? Another forever pizza. Six weeks. Just about. Come see us. Come get a beer. Come chill. GNR. Right. That's my brother John. And we'll take care of you. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Oh.